Hi, in today's class, we will learn what is a PPI device and how we interface this PPI device 8255 with microprocessor 8085. Look, to know the PPI device, at first we have to know what is the meaning of PPI device. PPI device stands for Programmable Peripheral Interface. So, as name suggests, it can be used to interface any input output device with microprocessor. That now question is why it needed for interface with 8085 microprocessor. Actually in 8085 microprocessor there is no provision to connect any other peripheral device directly with the pin of 8085 microprocessor. So, if you look in microprocessor 8085 pin diagram, then we found that it has no dedicated pin for interface input output device directly. So, so we need some extra device to make interface with microprocessor 8085. For this reason, 8085 is introduced to interface between microprocessor and input output device. 8255 also provide the three ports mind it in 8255 if we can we use 8255 as a ppi device for interfacing output input device with microprocessor 805 the 8255 has three ports port a port b and port c look at the diagram below look it is a peripheral device it is a peripheral device which the which is taken role to interface input output device look this is a input device this is output and this is also input device 8255 done the interfacing between those input output port with microprocessor 8085 now look, I mentioned 8255 has three ports. One is port A, port B and port C. That means we can connect three device simultaneously on a microprocessor 8085 at a time. Now here I give you the internal architecture and pin diagram of 8255 which will clear your doubt on how it works. Wait, we just zoom it. Look, as like block diagram shown, you can also find here the group A, port A, all port, port A, port B, port C are 8 bit. So, we can subdivide it in higher nibble and lower nibble. That means we can divide the 8 bit port in 4 bit, 4 bit. So, look for port A, look here PA02, PA7. But in below block, it is a group A port C upper. Look, this, this word upper. That means this block is responsible for only interfacing with upper portion of port C. That means PC7, PC4 to PC7, the upper 4 bit. And you can find also the next block, it is a group B, port C lower. That means PC0 to PC3. So, here we can find that we can subdivide the port C in two part. For 4 bit, we, we can call it lower port C. For uh, for higher bit, PC4 to PC7, we can call it upper port C. And for port B, it is also like same as port A, it is for 8 bit and we cannot subdivide it port B and port E like port C we can. So, port B is 0 to port B7 and as we like as we know that uh, for 
defining the port A, port C, port B, what is the input port and what is the output port, we need some control. That is why we need some controlling device. Here you, find, you found read write control logic where sending some control word to microprocessor we can tell microprocessor that our port like port group port B is input or output port A is input or output there is a technique to defining different port as a input or output this is called control register uh, control word and we have to send this control word to control register of 8085 microprocessor to understand that our peripheral device which we are connecting 8255 and which port is input and which port is output and we can design this we can define this port for use of ourselves and it is totally in hand of programmer in which type he want to declare the port he can in next step we, we can find that how we can generate and how we can write the control word and how it is sent to the microprocessor 8085